Hello, hello, Gotham here. Welcome back to The Witcher 3. Uh, last episode, we, we started this battle. I did it, uh, I think I tried it once and failed. Not surprising, but I actually did not do nearly as bad as I thought I was going to do. Got It wasn't too bad, so I, I know we can do this. Obviously, the, the issue I'm having right now is still health. He awaits us. Yes, he does. But let's, uh, I need to, yeah, I need to meditate first. I don't know if I want to keep doing 24 hours. I don't know how much, yeah, we'll just do a little bit. Dude's pretty sweet, isn't he? You're stubborn, Dwan. Geralt, I <clears throat> help you. Step back. Stop telling me what to do. I wonder how long you laugh. All right, so again, <clears throat> the, <clears throat> the key is here. Here is going to be do not be and get the moments where she, when she staggers him like that. And we're going to have twice where his dogs come out. So we just have to be, there's got to take this. Slow and easy. Ah. I was trying to time her staggering him. I'm having, struggling a few times of getting that. Get Quinn back up. See, sometimes it's it's. It's kind of tough to get close to him. Yeah, see that that was all that was my bad. <clears throat> See, the last time what got me, I ran into Geralt, his look. bubble. He's opening a passage. <clears throat> Stay calm. Focus. And we know with these, it's just... It's again, not being greedy. Take it slow. Time. 
and to stay away from his bubble. Let's get Quinn. Yeah, and then he, yeah, that's right, he actually, he re... Ah, darn it. Come on, get out of the, get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. Yeah, see, I, def I definitely do not want him up there. I need him to get out of that corner, man. Not good. It's a constant battle of keeping Quinn up. And trying to get him when he's staggered. See right there, I even though Quinn helps, I'm still um, I'm being greedy. This is actually a pretty fun battle. I, I like this. Back up. See, once once I get blocked that first time, I need to back away. I didn't think I was... I didn't think I'd get that, that's why... I... I need more of that. Stay and get behind him. I need him to get caught caught up with Kira Matt. So I can get behind. Alright, I think we're gonna have to let's take the water. We will get Quinn, go back to Igni, and then we're going to bring out, what was it, Lightning Bolt, I think it was, or Thunderbolt. And do I want, I mean, I have no idea what might go on to him. I have no idea. Does it say, let's check our... Um, where is... there he is. No, it does not say. I didn't think it did, but I figured to give it a try.
I am want him to. Well, you could argue that that you do want him in that corner or a corner. Let's try Ard this time, see what happens with Ard. Ah, oh, he keeps breaking Quen, man. I want to try Ard. I've not given myself a chance to actually try it yet. Ah, uh, see, there it goes. But I think, but we're looking good on this. We're looking really good on this. I like the chances. All right, we're gonna go back to Igni for these for these dogs. I don't know what they're called, but that's what I'm calling them. <clears throat> uh, is he gonna get full? Is it in direct relation to the time? So I need to get these guys quick. Ah, uh, see, I hit, I hit the bubble again. And he did get full. Oh, wait a minute. I gained some health there. How did I gain health? <clears throat> what did I do that get, had me gain health there? I still want to try hard. Yeah, that does nothing to him. All right. Kind of had that thought. <clears throat> uh, that was a bad Igni. Bad use of Igni. <clears throat> Alright, come on, dude. Get out of the corner. Although... Ah... Have to keep the Quen up. That's key. Oh no. Dude, I'm really liking this fight. This is cool. I like that it's actually taking some time. <clears throat> I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. Yep, I got, I got, uh, definitely got greedy there. We'll take a swallow. So I still want to know what, what, what was it that I did last, that one time, where my, I actually gained energy. Oh, 
Ah, oh. nope, not enough, not enough. We got, we both got him. But yeah, his his stagger actually takes him out of range a bit. His stagger takes him out of range. It's, what's interesting also is you cannot, it does not seem like you can, um, you cannot lock, lock, lock onto him. My Quinn down. Get Quinn. All right, I knew that was, I knew I was going a little much there. That's fine. Alright, he's still back in the corner again. Get out, get out, get out, get out. I have to hope he does not bubble up again. I don't like him in the corners, man. Get out, get out, get out. Alright, for now I think I'm gonna I'm oh she got him. She got him. Well done, Kira. Well done. I see it. What do we get? Let's look around. my nick is on strikes, this looks like the elves look Wild Hunt Warrior Sword. Let's take a look at that Wild Hunt Warrior Sword. Forty-five to fifty, but you get t plus twenty-five percent critical hit damage bonus, plus three critical hit chance, plus one chance to freeze, and you can put a rune in it. So let's take a look at this. So it's going to be looks like it's going to be a little less than our current steel sword, but twenty-five, three, and one. Chance to poison. Ooh, that's poison is pretty good. Bonus experience from humans and non-human. Uh, sign intensity. That's still a pretty good sword. Oh, but it's minus 10 attack power versus beasts. I did not realize that. The Viper Steel Sword. Well, we might we might put a rune in this and see what what we can get. That's forty to fifty. What was this one? This one's forty nine to sixty. Forty nine to sixty one. This is the one I really need to get fixed. I need I need another silver. But look at that silver. Oh, it's already zero percent. And I do not have another silver sword. That's something to keep in mind. I need to... I need to, uh... Keep a backup silver sword. Alright, there's nothing to loot down here. 
just that one I'm seeing? What about all the dogs we killed? Nothing there. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure what the rotting flesh is used for. That was a fun fight, man. I like I enjoyed that a lot. Now that's good combat. That is good combat. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh. All right. Let's watch this message. Cyril, this place is no longer safe. Do not tarry here long. Trust no one. And above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together? Not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here. Surely they saw the projection. They searched everything. And if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the elf, not about Siri. Well, we know they were well acquainted and traveling together. Elf wanted Siri about some. warned Siri about some witches. Wonder why they split up. Wonder why they split up. Perhaps because the wild hunt was on the elf's trail, and Siri would be safer if they did. The witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Kira, if you're hiding something. But I didn't say. Oh. You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Velen. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet throughout my first fortnight in Velen, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously, render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. Why didn't you say anything earlier? I told you Siri had a run in with a witch. Well, I, I had no idea you meant them. If I'd told you something, you would have rushed off to find them. But we needed first to confirm that Siri was here, didn't we? I shall tell you everything now, of course. Now? After I safely led you through the cave? I can't believe you'd think so poorly of me. Perhaps you do bear a grudge against sorceresses. Mm hmm Can't imagine where that comes from. How do I find them? The swamps are vast. Dangerous. But they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog. And from that chapel, one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Care Morhen. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. What? I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe you'll find your Cirilla. All right then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. All right, so we're gonna we're come. we're gonna have uh, we're gonna some looting to do here, but also let's take a look at. We also have a couple other things to look at. 
Alright, so I did get... Alright, so I do have a little bit of food now. Potion from Tier Na Lea. Vitality... Vitality regeneration. Vitality regeneration during combat. Five second effect duration. I think we're going to... Equip this for now. Even though I know it's only one, but still. Uh, Ladies of the Wood, read for additional information. Let's see, is this going to be a lot of reading? It does not look like it. All right. The gods have abandoned us. The mighty of this earth care not for our fate. Only the ladies of the wood watch over Valen. In foul times when plague and famine reap their harvest, we must beg the ladies for help. If they see fit, they will hear our pleas and knock back fortune's foul blows. This is how one begs help from the ladies. Oh, all right. Find a child, young and innocent, and take it to Crookback Bog. Seek out the Lady's Shrine, tis where the Trail of Treats begins. Set the child off on the trail, and it shall follow the sweet track and find the good ladies. The child will never want for anything again, for the ladies are kind and generous. Stand before the shrine, pronounce your supplication, and the good ladies will hear, for they see and hear all that takes place in their... Dem Demesin? Demes? Demons? Uh, if you make the offerings as it must be done, your plea shall be heard. So do we have... To, are, is that like... That almost sounds like a sacrifice. Alright, rotting flesh can be sold to merchants. Alright, okay. I was... I was <laughs> for a second, when I first time I saw that, I was afraid that was going to be something we could eat. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. After the white frost... Other. Spring ash down dreamy hills, past sparkling waters, Tiranalia drifts slowly, softly, silently into oblivion. Sage lips blacken, frost and bones quiver before an ice bound eye can blink. Alright, that's just a poem. Letter of safe conduct conduct. We we've uh, yeah, we've received that. And we have all these other ones. Oh, we have Orans and Florence. Okay. We'll probably have to do this again real quick after. Nope. Yeah, after we do, because we're gonna be doing some looting here. But I do want to. I do want to real quick see if we can't see. How much Alka? Al I struggle saying that word for some reason. Alka has to we have. Problem is, I have no idea what it looks like. Oh, that's alchemist powder. What's the ducal water for? Used in alchemy. Well, I guess, yeah, that's that's what all the stuff is used for. I'm assuming alcohol. Alca, there we go. I have 16. Okay. All right, let's put this place out. All right, come on. Get to the right thing. The Elder Blood. All right, let's read that. What exactly is the Elder Blood? According to some, it is a powerful elven curse passed from generation to generation. Those in whose veins the, the infamous hen I care flows are said to carry death and destruction within them to sow hatred and disdain in the hearts of men. It was from this contaminated blood that Ithline prophesied an avenger would be born, a destroyer of nations and worlds. Others claim the Elder Blood is an extremely rare inherited talent, granting control over time and space to a degree unattainable even to Elven Sages. Sadly, few bearers of this gift have been able to control it in full. This merely partial mastery inevitably leads to sudden outbursts of the power that takes the form of unpredictable, uncontrollable, and thus extremely dangerous explosions. 
Behind the dark legends about the curse of the elder blood lies the truth of these tragic cases. Uh, let's scroll this down. For obvious reason, the bearers of the elder blood were always subjects of great interest to the world's mighty and to mages alike. The former counted on the truth of Ithaline's prophecy on an avenger being born who could destroy worlds and who they could thus use for their purposes. As for the latter, they hoped to harness the magic of Hen Iker to broaden their own knowledge and powers. Ultimately, however, all these plans were for naught. The Elder Bloodline broke off with the disappearance of the heiress to the Nilfgaardian crown, Cirilla, Fiona, Ellen. Oh. Ultimately, these plans were for naught. The Elder Bloodline broke off with the disappearance of the heiress. So. Am I correct in assuming that this is why the Wild Hunt is looking for her, looking for Siri? Hmm. Mysterious Mage Herbalist. Hmm. Mysterious Mage Herbalist. Well, that's interesting. Dark iron ingot, silk, empty bottle, leather scraps. Bounty Hunter's Gambeson. Torn out page, Al Ghul decoction. Ooh, that could be good. 